Hello friends! Today, we will make a very fast remote controlled speedboat. For this, we will need some flat styrofoam. Measure an 18 by 5.5 centimeter rectangle. Then measure 1 centimeter from the bottom edge and draw a line at an angle, like this. We will need three of these rectangles. We will also need one 15 by 5 centimeter rectangle and one 11 by 4 centimeter rectangle. Now draw the perimeter of the boat following these measurements. Then take a breadboard knife and cut out all these figures. You can buy a knife like this at any project store. Here is what we get. You can sand the corners and edges down with sandpaper. Now, cut out the bottom of our speedboat. Split this piece into two parts and then cut away the nose of the boat in two places. Next, cut out another rectangle with these measurements. I use two component adhesive to glue the parts together. It dries relatively fast and it is fairly easy to work with. When you are gluing parts, Hold the pieces together for 30 seconds and leave them to dry approximately 5 minutes. Then you can proceed. Here is how we glue the bottom together. Now let's make the sides. Here I have glued the nose of the boat together and it is tilted a little bit upwards. Next we will make the motor transmission, steel tube and propeller. The links for all the components are listed in the description of the video. We will use a servo motor for a turning mechanism. The boat's electronic components are made up of an Arduino, a radio module, and a speed regulator. Now let's look at the receiver schematics. I describe how to load the sketch into Arduino in much detail in the video description. Make sure that the servo motor's power source is hooked up to the same power source as the Arduino. I put the remote control's electronic components into this box and now take a look at the schematics. Make a hole for the steel tube. It should look like this. Then place the steel tube into these two holes. You can tell the propeller will be fully submerged in the water. Here's how I secured the motor. Now let's secure a plastic corner piece in the boat for the electronic components. The turning mechanism of the boat looks like this. It is made from three pieces of bent wires and a piece of plastic. This is how it will operate. Now let's make a cover piece for the boat. Trace the top part with a marker and cut the figure out. In the top part, cut away a rectangle this size. Then glue some strips of styrofoam around the perimeter of the rectangle, like this. Glue some wider strips of foam on top. This will result in creating a pass into which you can slide a cover piece, like this. I secured the electronic components onto the plastic corner piece with two-sided tape. Now glue the cover piece with the two-component adhesive. After everything is dried, Take some polymer glue and apply it over all of the seams. The battery is the heaviest part of the boat. We need to secure it a little to the left of the axle shaft so that the boat swims in a straight line. Now let's test the turning mechanism. The motor will be blocked when the boat is turned on. To unblock it, push the acceleration joystick forward and hold it for 5 seconds. Let's test the speedboat on the river.
The speedboat turned out to be very cool. It is easy to control and even better, it's cheap. Dear friends, if you liked this video and found it useful, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. We will be posting even more interesting videos in the future. See you soon.